nature, everything is naturally recycled, allowing the natural habitat to be self-sustaining. However, in an aquarium, which is a closed system, the owner has to properly maintain and clean the aquarium to ensure the export of undesirable compounds and the import of desirable compounds. Aquarium maintenance will vary from tank to tank and week to week, since different aquarium styles will have varying needs. The goal of every aquarist is to have the most beautiful aquarium possible with the least amount of energy, labor, and cost. That way, we are able to spend more time enjoying our aquariums rather than working on them. The more you can learn to see in this way and enjoy the process, the more likely you will be able to succeed. Basic maintenance can be broken up into a few primary tasks. Observation, habitat cleaning, water changes, equipment cleaning, and other tasks. The key to maintaining a beautiful aquarium is developing a keen sense of what a healthy aquarium should look like, along with identifying the signs of any problems. These clues will help you decide what the most appropriate maintenance will be in the near term. Moving on, water changes and habitat cleanings are essential for many reasons. They help dilute the amount of nitrogenous pollutants that will accrue over time. By gravel vacuuming and sucking waste during a water change, you can remove decaying organics that will rot if not removed. At last, they can help replenish essential minerals and trace elements along with improving the overall water clarity. Begin a water change by selecting an appropriate hose thickness for your aquarium. Start a siphon by putting one end of the hose into the tank and suck on the other end to get water flowing. Your shirt is a good barrier between your mouth and the hose. Use your finger to control the water flow. This will allow you to clean your landscape of any waste efficiently. When you are done, you can use a fatter hose if you still have to drain water. After you finish taking out the proper percentage of water, you can add back the clean water by using a pump or carefully dumping it back into the aquarium. The frequency of water changes depend on the scenario, including how much you feed, your bio load, how effective your filtration is, and etc. Next, cleaning your filter properly should be part of your routinely maintenance by cleaning out your mechanical and biological media. Cleaning your mechanical media is fairly easy. You can just wring it to squeeze out any waste. However, Biological media has to be carefully washed in order to keep the population of bacteria living in it alive. Use the water taken out from your tank during a water change and rinse, rub, or gently squeeze the media to clean it. Don't use tap water or over clean the media because that can harm the bacteria. If you have chemical media, research on what the proper action has to be done in order to clean it. The last cleaning related task that you have to do is clean out your pumps bi yearly. Cleaning your pumps will give it a longer lifespan, saving you money. Now there will be more cleaning depending on the style of tank you have. In a reef tank, extra components like a protein skimmer will require extra work. Look into the components that your aquarium needs and learn how to properly maintain them. Maintenance also includes tasks that aren't related to cleaning. Testing the chemistry of your water and or dosing certain elements into your tank are some examples. Cleaning and maintaining your tank is key, for by doing so, you are improving your tank in many ways. We hope you now have a better sense of the maintenance required to sustain a healthy aquarium. By diligently observing and cleaning your tank, you can stay ahead of any problems, granting you long-term success.